So, you just became a new member of Vassar College's stunning collaborative technology center, the Media Cloisters. You might be thinking to yourself, oh no, I'm not sure how to act as a student employee. Well, look no further. This video will introduce you to three easy steps that will put you on the path to becoming a super Cloisters worker. Let's take a look at Madison one of our new freshman employees. Madison's reading Rolling Stone. She must really like that rock and roll. Oh, what's this? A fellow student has wandered into the cloisters seeking help. Madison seems to be too invested in Rolling Stone to notice. This is incorrect. Lack of attention and unawareness of cloisters' clients leads to frustration and confusion. Try again, Madison. Now Madison is able to read her Rolling Stone, but this time she keeps an eye out for students who enter the cloisters. This way, Madison can respond quickly and effectively, eliminating all sense of frustration and confusion. Watch as Madison exemplifies a stunning sense of excitement and joy as she helps a fellow student. Well done! Let's take a look at another common problem that can lead to frustration and confusion. Here we have one of our upperclassmen, jaded and rebellious, listening to her iPod while doing her homework. Oh, Brittany, the Cloisters is no place to multitask your busy life. No! Try again. Now Brittany is able to deal with the high demands of being a Vassar student by catching up on that novel while still being attentive and aware of anyone entering or seeking help in the Cloisters. Look how much happier she is. Very nice, Brittany. Oh, hey, Becca. Glad to see you showed up to work. Here is another upperclassman who will clearly show us a good example of how to begin your shift. Hey, wait a minute. Becca, the cloisters is no place for you to catch up on sleep. Wrong. Let's try that again. The proper way to begin your shift at the Cloisters is to settle yourself and put on your name tag. This increases your visibility to people seeking help and lets them know that, hey, you work here. Also, it's important to promptly sign in at the back desk. Getting into the habit of always signing in when you start work will lessen the frustration and confusion of unorganized hours and timesheet problems for you and your boss. Good job, Becca. It's important to always be attentive, responsive, and visible to Cloister's clients. Follow these three basic tips and you too can be a super Cloister's employee.